Hey everybody, welcome in and Club Conquest is what we're all about today. Um, club Conquest is a mode where you as a club all band together, get as, as many of your characters put on defence. You can also use those characters once as defensive teams, once as attacking teams. We all have bases, so the, each little triangle points towards a different team's base. Uh, Disney Titans, we are the red team. So, as you can see, there are full castles, destroyed castles, that means us as the red team have taken a base, and then, and then, sorry, and then uh, we uh, can set our own defences. The broken castles take one hour to reappear so that the other teams can attack them again, um, and the idea is uh, these teams are going against each other. Um, we kind of leave two rows for them to sort out who's going to take second place. Um, now, as far as teams go, so this has 10 minutes left rebuilding their place, their teams. So in 10 minutes time, they will be able to be attacked. Um, which is pretty cool. And it's a cool, it's a cool little team mode that we can just go in together and and we can just have fun so have fun just joining everyone else's teams and attacking each other and just seeing this is one mode we actually see a whole bunch of different characters being used so that's quite cool um, anyway uh, you get points by the amount of castles that you take um, now this this castle here has had one uh, one team taken out already, so the one that's been greyed out has uh, been beaten. Um, we can you can the more uh, tax it goes, the more it starts smoking until it crumbles down. Um, if we have a look down below, there is someone currently in a battle as well, and so we'll slowly start taking over all of these castles, I can attack one as well, and you pretty much go through your whole, all your spells, all your characters can be used once, and you can use all your save teams, but if your save teams have the same characters, they will show, they will not show up the next time you try to use the, uh, a team with those characters on it, so it's, it's pretty cool, so you can just jump in, use whoever you like, and carry on going from there. Um, I'll just mix things up a little bit because you do need to be a little bit careful about who you use, you have to kind of spread your teams out, so there is a, a, a decent element of strategy um, in the Club Conquest that you want to have as many usable teams as you can, and now at lower level, a lot of people beginning in this game now since global launch, you will not have a massive roster like some of us do that have been in the beta but you are going to want to have your characters um, as at a decent level that you can use them but I would also and strongly suggest don't over invest in these extra characters still focus on your main ones so I want to spread this damage and all I'm trying to do is this is like just a that if, if you want to see a video of this team that I'm using, this is my continue one one of my first continuous damage teams. Um, so if you're interested, I do break this whole team down. But since we're here from Club Conquest, I am going to talk about uh, Club Conquest, and I'm going to recommend that you don't level all of your characters up because after like level tw 10, 20, um, after tier 2, things get very expensive and you'll end up wasting a lot of your resources if you're going to try and level everything up. So I'm just going to say save yourself some struggles later on by not doing that. Now, now if you are smart about how many teams and placements you can have um, 
you, you just want to do better than your opponents really. Or make sure you spread out your teams enough so that your opponent has a little bit of trouble just trying to get through them all. Um, you can do that multiple different ways and there's multiple different strategies like having one super full team that no one can get through. You can have teams where uh, you have very weak characters with one strong or one or two strong characters just so that people have to try and use more strong characters to break up your teams. Um, many different ways of going about that. But... Um, I would say... It, it is wise to have some strong teams. Um, so try a few different things see what works for you and your teams as low lower levels um, but definitely don't leave your characters just at level one because it doesn't very really cost much to take them up to level 10 or to level 15 or 20 whatever it might be or even take them up one tier um, every little bit will help and just cause a little bit more trouble for opponents now once uh, we get through this battle, we will take down this tower. And after the tower has been taken down, I'll show you how we can just replace, set up your own teams. Um, but there are a few different strategies that you can go through for not just setting the teams. So you can you can try and set teams that have a very good combat compatibility that are hard to get through. You can just try and spread out your power so that there is a lot of bases that can potentially be hard to take, or you can set up bases that are near to impossible to take. Um, and it, it's a it's a quite a fun mode, and it all depends on how you as a team approach it as your club approach it and how the opponents approach it so there is you can just go all out guns blazing trying to take everything uh, if you do that you do get a head start on your opponents um, and by getting a head start you're going to gather more points faster than they have so you can potentially get ahead of them and make it harder for them to catch up now in saying and doing that if you jump out ahead you also potentially can leave yourself open because points are gathered by how many castles you have connected to your main castle um, and for if you branch out and then your opponents go and cut one of your branches off you end up won't you won't get points for those castles unless there is a there is a unless there there is a little bonus points for if you own more than I think 13 castles we'll jump into that soon and have a check and I was too slow okay so my one of our teammates are attacking now so I'm too slow so this castle will be down so we can jump into some of the other things while we are chatting um, and as you can see people can just jump in and battle and if you have the teams ready, then that's a little bit easier. So since since that castle's been taken down, we're just, I'm just going to finish off taking down this last row, leave two rows for the opponents to just battle themselves out for a second. Um, and let's jump into the actual displays. Um, so you're going to set, um, set uh, defences in the castles. When you attack them, you can capture the castles, which I've been talking about. Um, the first part is just showing you when uh, when the conquest starts, the times. You can check on that yourselves if you want to. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to that. Um, each club has to have 10 people registered to actually take part. So if people are not registering in your club, you won't be able to take part in the, in the, the club conquest. Now, defensive teams you can you have to have minimum of one character so that's kind of guaranteed like you of course you need to have one character but you can you what what that's saying is that you don't have to have a full team of five so you can spread out and you have two three four w whatever it takes to set up a uh, defense um, attacking bases I've just shown you how that can be done and there is a first attack phases so it'll go one day attacking or majority of a day attacking 
and then have a day of rest or a time of um, adjusting so you can change your towers around whatever you need to do, set defences um, and I'll show you the capturing bases soon um, leaders and co-leaders can set defences once the base is captured um, and the conquest points, so you get one point for every connected then you also get, okay, so 13 or more bases you'll get 10 points so this is per minute so every, if you own 10 bases you'll get 10 per minute if you own 13 you'll get 23 per minute so you get the 13, one, one for each of the 13 per minute plus a bonus 10 and so if you're, if you're owning 18 you'll get 28 uh, per, per minute um, so how you use, uh, assign teams is the leaders and co-leaders will jump in there'll be buttons called assign so everyone can create their own teams on the buttons on the left on the right sorry um, and then you can go in and assign the teams that have been created by your club members and just go in you, we are lucky that we have enough depth that it doesn't really matter for us which teams we uh, which teams we are assigning but in saying that one of, one of the one of the things is that the loading in this game like when all the clubs are battling there is a bit of server lag uh, that looks like it and that, that is not in, in so enjoyable um, just the this mode in particular seems to seems to be quite laggy uh, and it definitely hasn't got better with global so hopefully something gets done with those servers but you can go in you can choose whichever teams you'd like and you can assign them all and I think there needs to be better filters on the, these for, for the leaders and co-leaders but as far as that so now that has turned to our colour has been broken down it's going this this uh, tower down the bottom will be available in 20 minutes the one that we've just taken will be one hour and now those ones that were broken down of the opponents before have now been built up so that's kind of how it goes and you can go in and attack if per se we were to attack across the B10, 11, 12 uh, path we would cut off the blue team's other two towers and they would not get points for so currently they get nine points if we took three of them out they should be getting six but really they'll only get four because they've been cut off from the tower now if you cut across a base of that green team per se they would get none connected and so they'll get zero points per minute because you're cutting them off from their main tower and say if someone worked their way down and they took our towers that main tower out we would still be getting uh, we would still be getting uh, 10 points per 10 points per, per minute because even though we won't be connected we have more than 13 towers so there are potential ways around it one team did rush us uh, once off the start we had left uh, pretty easy to defenses um, and we just we just weren't expecting anyone to be doing that um, so they ended up cutting it off but we were still getting 10 points per minute until we went and reconnected after that hour had passed so you do get one hour of the rebuilding time that you can't really touch the towers so if you all work together work fast there can be strategies like that so you want to either look to cut opponents off keep the scores as close as you can unless you want to be in front but also make sure you have enough attacks left to deal with whatever you need to deal with so there it, it's a fun mode jump in check it out um, these are my defenses of, of set um, you can go in and edit remove change them up as much as you want and then down, the ones down the very bottom I cannot edit because they are placed in a tower so it shows that this one's at A7 uh, B4 B9 C1 so once they've been placed in the tower you can no longer edit them but everybody in the club should be setting their own defences put up whatever the strategy is I'd say try and have as many uh, defences as possible but also have some strong ones that are going to be difficult for the opponents to try and get through so these guys are still battling it out which is cool to see um, so 
we will let this go and if anyone wants to see the rewards from the club conquest i do have a video i'll put the link in the description below um so anyone can go and check out what the rewards for first place are if anyone is interested um but other than that that is the majority of a club conquest it's have your teams invest in them a little bit all of your characters are just a little bit but don't over invest because it will hurt you in the long run of the game um, hurt your main characters if you try and take everyone up to like tier 3 tier 4 it gets very expensive so tier 2 max I would say but other than that I'd say just have fun see what works for you and your club we us as a club we communicate a lot and that helps with our strategies so if you're struggling with your club try and find a club if, and you're the type to play a lot uh, or be very involved try and find a club that is involved as well if you want that kind of uh, atmosphere or gameplay experience so all of our members are registered this is one of the first times we've had a 50 out of 50 for a while but make sure your club registers as well um, or else they won't be able to play and help as well as they won't be able to get rewards so those will be all the hopefully little little tips and um, see what strategy works for you all if you take uh, as many castles and get points first it's generally can't, it just puts the pressure on the other teams they have to then catch up so I do recommend going straight out and attacking and taking bases but I also just recommend be smart know the teams and the players in your club what they can and can't do you don't want to go out attacking a big line in front and then end up getting cut off and not getting any points from it so those, those would be like the best little tips I'd say is communication with your club number one um, and strategy yeah and just make sure everyone does their part if you want to get ahead and win so hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you all very soon